Okay, we are going to do 11-3. This is word problems involving addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, okay? If we have a word problem that has two different operations in it, we have to know which one to do first. It is always going to be multiplication or division first. They're more complicated than addition and subtraction, right? So they're more complicated, they're more advanced, they're just more special, and we need to take care of them first before we add or subtract anything. So we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. That's as complicated as it gets. Those are the only four operations. Okay, we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, okay? So we are going to do, in this problem, we have 135 minus six times seven. I went ahead and put parentheses around it. We always know we do it in parentheses first, but we always do the multiplication or the division problem first. So first thing we wanna do, 135 minus six times seven equals P. P is our unknown. We wanna basically solve and figure out what number needs to go here instead of that. So we wanna multiply first. Six times seven is, positive if you need to think about it, it's 42, okay? So we have 135 minus 42. We've basically gotten rid of this $6 times seven and replaced it with 42. So now we need to do 135 minus 42. I want you to work that out over here. Give yourself some space and work that out. Pause it and come back. Okay, we should get 93. Okay, so if it's saying 93 is equal to P, what it means is we could take this P, cross it out, and put a 93 there. So 135 minus six times seven, which six times seven is 42, so 135 minus 42 is in fact 93. Okay, let's look at them at the bottom. Amanda has $268 in her savings account. If she adds $60 to it each week for eight weeks, how much money will she have? So let S be the total amount of money in Amanda's savings account after eight weeks. She starts out with 268 plus she's gonna add eight groups of 60, right? So that's gonna be a multiplication. Every week, she's going to put $60 in there for eight weeks, okay? So, and then we're gonna add that amount to this 268. So it's basically a two-step problem. We wanna do $60 times eight, and then we wanna take this amount and add it to 268, which is the beginning amount that she started with. So 60 times eight, pause it, calculate that, and write it right there. She get 480, and then 268 plus 480. So go ahead, write that, add it together, pause it. Okay, so you should get $748 equals S, which means we can cross out this S and write $748. So she started with 268, she saved $60 each week for eight weeks, which is $480. And then we added 268 plus 480, and we got 748. So after eight weeks, Amanda has $748. Okay, write equations to solve. Use a letter to represent the unknown quantity. Sally bought a dress for $82. There's our period. We know we need to do something with that, right? She also bought two pairs of shoes for $40 each. Two pairs, $40 each. That's a whole separate sentence and a separate problem. How much money did she spend total? All right, we have $82 plus she bought two pairs of $40 shoes. So I put that in parentheses because I always have to do my multiplication first before I can add numbers to that. 
okay? So I don't want to do 82 plus 2 and then multiply that by 40 because I did, she doesn't have 84. She didn't buy 84 pairs of shoes at $40. She bought two pairs of shoes at $40, and then we're going to add the price of the dress in. So go ahead and try to calculate that and get an answer for me. The answer needs to equal, you make up a letter. I'm going to say P for the price of shoes, but you go ahead and make up a letter and tell me what your answer is. Pause it and come back. Okay, this is 80 and 82. You could probably do mental math with that. And that is going to be 162 is equal to P, which is the answer. She spent $162. Okay, good job. See you tomorrow.